Hi, in case you didn't catch my introductory video, my name is Ace and this is Cross Culture. Now, some may know that I'm going on a little trip at the end of the year um, to Japan. And this is where Cross Culture, you know, really meets the road. We're going to do an unboxing. So I did get some stuff for the trip. And one of the things in here is not for the trip. I'll open it up sideways just so you guys can still see me. Oh, everything's falling out. <laughs> All right, so the one thing that's not for me is this helmet. I actually got it for my daughter because she is actually starting to ride her first uh, bike with training wheels. So I actually asked her which one she liked after I already said that I like this one. I did also ask my wife, and I guess all three of us kind of decided on this one. It's pretty nice. I like how it has the splatter effect right here. I really do like it. But, put that over there. What else do we have? All right, so I have something to help with my vlogging a little bit. It is a Joby Gorilla Pod. So what this does is the job of a small tripod, but it can also like grip onto bars and other things like that. It just makes the whole experience a little more versatile because you can actually hold this in your hand. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. You can actually hold it in your hand. You can stand it up. You can uh, maneuver it to how you need. Uh, it's definitely a good thing for any photographer to have. This one's for a smaller camera. Uh, as of right now, I don't actually have a SLR. DSLR. This one's pretty nice. You can take it out, stand it up. Normally pretty expensive. I got this one on Amazon for 30 bucks. It is one of the smaller models, as I said, but it is still pretty versatile. You know, you can... oh, I think I just popped one of those things out. Ooh. But yeah, as you can see, it's very versatile. You can maneuver it and bend it to how you need it, which is always a good thing. Uh, hopefully I can get this thing back on because I really don't want to have to return it. Yeah, I think it's in there. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's in there. All right, but on to the last, and for me, the most exciting, thing in this box for the trip to Japan. Yeah, let's see if I can put this down here. Okay. So the most exciting thing that I've seen uh, or the I guess you could say travel culture now dictates that if you're going someplace where you really don't want to take or check a bag especially at the airport where it can be lost or what have you, uh, you take a travel backpack. Now this is the Amazon Basics travel backpack. There are no affiliate links in the description. I'm not up there yet. But I did do quite an extensive search to be able to find this bag because I was thinking of not actually checking a bag when I go to Japan, but I think I am still going to. Now, this bag, I think is the 40 liter variety, which is kind of the biggest bag that you want to take and still have it be comfortable on your back. Um, for those who know about travel backpacks, it doesn't really have a very comfortable waist strap. A lot of the reviews were saying that if it did, it would be a little bit better. 
but if you look right here, you can't even see the straps. You can also carry it as a, as a messenger type bag. It comes with a strap. I'll open it up a little bit here. A lot of the reviewers are saying that this whole orange is kind of bright. I don't really like it. I, I don't mind it too much. It's on the inside of the bag. You don't have to worry about seeing it. Uh, the bag does come in, I think, seven different colors, six or seven different colors. This is the gray one. As you can see down here, just a little, very little, pretty tasteful branding. You know, the black on gray is not all that noticeable, but it does say Amazon Basics. Uh, again, the price point was $70, and I did look into backpacks of the same variety. This is the most bang that you can get for your buck. You know, there's a laptop uh, compartment right there. It has a nice little neoprene pouch so your stuff doesn't fall too far down into the bag. And we have the main compartment right here, which if you undo these clips, it actually opens up flat. Now this is gonna allow you to pack the bag how you want to, instead of packing it like a backpack and having to like shove stuff down into it. This is going to allow you to kind of organize how you want everything and then close it up. As I said, this is a messenger strap right here. Um, some people don't like carrying it as a backpack. So look up. Um, what you can do is just put those on these rings here and you just carry it as a messenger bag versus as a backpack. There's even another access point to the laptop storage that I mentioned before. So if you're not taking a laptop or you just wanna have more storage, you can actually open this up, put stuff in here, close it, and still have this portion to pack, which gives a little more versatility. Um, all in all, I would say it looks pretty good. Oh, there's also, I guess, another little compartment over here that you can do the same thing. Uh, there is also a neoprene pouch over here, or more like a sleeve. It doesn't even go to the bottom of the bag but it may offer a little more support if you want to keep something closer to your back. Maybe you have some packing cubes that you know that you want to put in here versus the main compartment here. So all in all, I think that's three, three portions to the main compartment. It gives a nice bit of space. Um, all of the zippers on here are YKK, which is a very trusted Japanese company, uh, oddly enough. Um, there's a water bottle holder here. I know that some of the reviews that I was looking at were saying that this is pretty small for a water bottle holder. It doesn't really come out very much. Um, some of the ones from, I think it's called Motherload, uh, not sponsored but they do have a, I think a more hideaway. It, you zip it out and then it kind of unfolds and expands so that you can fit a pretty big water bottle in there. But I would say that this one, especially for 70 bucks, you go shopping for these things, you're definitely gonna be looking at stuff that's in the $100 range and those are the cheap ones. Uh, for Amazon, basics to come out with one is very surprising, to say the very least. This is actually one of three backpacks that they have. They have this one, which is called the Weekender. They have an overnight, and then they have a slim, slim carry-on backpack. The slim carry-on backpack is a little, it's cheaper than this one, and 
from what I hear, the build quality kind of denotes that. Uh, the zippers are not YKK. The cinches on the side here are actually not all that great. Um, the cinches, like say you're not packing up the whole bag, it'll help you cinch it down so that you can keep a low profile on the back. So you don't have like all your stuff jumbling around while you're like running for the plane or what have you. But I'll say this is a pretty nice bag. I can't wait to see what I can fit into it. See what I can use it for. Uh, I know that a lot of people that are go with the travel on backpacks, another pocket here. A lot of people that go with the travel on backpacks actually opt to have a separate day pack. With this one, I feel like I can unpack some stuff at the hotel. I do still plan on checking a bag. So if I have a lot of space in there, what I'll do is I'll stash some stuff in there for the day, take this backpack out so that I'm not worried about, oh, do I have everything with me? I'll just pack the bag every morning or for the next couple days or what have you and I'll be able to keep a low profile. It looks pretty stylish, a lot, a lot like the anti-theft backpacks that they really have um, that are making a big market. Um, oh, I forgot to talk about this. Back here are the straps. So the regular shoulder straps. And what they do is they clip down here so this doesn't have a waist strap at all. What they do is they clip down here so that you can have them out like that. If you don't want to carry it as a backpack, as I was saying before, you just stow these back in here. Toss them in. Zip up the little compartment. And then you can use this, clamp it onto the, where are they? Ah, it's on this side. Clamp it onto the side here and you have a nice handy little messenger bag. I know that a lot of tech people, you know, those who are carrying around their laptops all the time, sometimes they don't want the weight directly on their back. So what they'll do is they'll get a messenger bag so they can sling it across their body. I uh, don't know how healthy that is or what have you, but it is definitely a preference that you're able to take on with this bag. This right here is actually another way to carry the bag. It has a nice little handle at the top. So you can take that out. Instead of carrying it as a backpack or as a messenger bag crossbody, you can actually just pick it up and walk away. There's actually also one on the side so you can carry it like a briefcase. You know, if it's maybe too heavy to do a crossbody, and you still don't want to have to take out the straps, you can just oh, take it right there. As I all together, this is a pretty good bag. As I said before, I really am excited about it. It does have, some of the compartments do have spaces for locks so that you can lock them up with TSA safe locks. Only reason I say TSA safe is because some locks that you put on your baggage, they're not TSA safe, and TSA might just cut into them to see what's in your bag because the locks are not to their specifications. So be careful on that if you're traveling. I don't want anybody to have any issues, you know, finding their bags open or stuff is missing or jumbled up, not the way you packed it in. But, very excited for this. I keep finding new pockets. There's another little one down here, uh, would be by your lower back, like your lumbar region, once you're carrying this as a um, backpack. I guess a nice little place to store your passport, you know, things like that, so that you don't have to worry about it being far from you. So if somebody, God forbid, somebody's trying to walk behind you and steal something out of this pocket, not having your passport there might be the best course of action because if it's here, it's close to your back. Nobody's gonna be able to get 
to your back without you knowing. I mean, I hope not. But I think I've talked long enough. Altogether, great bag. I haven't tested it out yet. I've just read a lot of reviews and can't wait to use it. So this has been Ace for Cross Culture. Until next time, stay prayed up and be blessed.